here's my book, Stunning Photographs by Annie Griffiths. She does have other books as well. Um, one seems to be like a, a novel of sorts. I couldn't really find too much information on it um, as to like what it looks like on the inside. Um, there's another book that she has that is more of a kid's guide on how to do photography. Um, how to make, you know, like little tips and tricks on making it look amazing kind of thing. Um, this book is definitely new to me. Um, as most photo books would be because I never really dove into looking into um, photo books before. I'm not sure why, just never really came up. Um, another thing about Annie Griffith is that she works with National Geographic. Um, she's actually one of the first women photographers to work for National Geographic. Um, and she's also best known for her work with this company as well. So let's, uh, let's dive into the book. I like this right here. Photograph or photography takes an instant out of time, altering life by holding it still. There's a, another quote that's kind of similar to that one. Uh, this one. This is the one I'm talking about. Photography is a way of feeling, of touching, of loving. What you have caught on film is captured forever. It remembers little things long after you have forgotten everything. I think that's a very nice little thing. It really does capture what we do as photographers. Like this right here is literally a moment caught in time. You can see the drastic halting of the horse and the man on the horse, or assumably man, um, pulling back This one was really nice. I hope to go there one day. Take pictures of my own. I thought that this one was um, kind of cool that they were, that Annie Griffiths was able to um, get kind of a two tone out of this. It's, the whole image is mainly yellow and black. This one was, uh, it was funny, I had my light in my upper left-hand corner, so it kind of seemed like the light was coming down onto the bird as well. I had to rearrange where my light was so it wasn't glaring. This one almost seems like the camel is just like a little dot on this huge white plane. little introduction here. Another moment literally caught in time where he's jumping for joy it seems with the wind through his robes. Uh, this book is is actually rather large. Um, when I pick it up it's not really that easy to to hold, especially with just one hand. Um, so it's not super easy to handle. Uh, it does feel important. It is very thick, like I said. Um, it does show a lot of different pictures. See, it's, it's a rather thick one. So I'm not gonna go through the entire book. This book also has like little themes. So this is supposed to be like the mystery section. What you can get from this is very um, gray, white, some purples. Looks very ominous, scary almost. 
this one is like you can you're, you're trying to find the image this one looks kind of like a scary black figure a, or a ghost of some sort This one I liked a lot. Uh, I'm assuming that she uses an underwater camera or, or, or a scope or something, but I think it's really cool because you can see in the background the little um, weeds and the stems going all the way up. It almost looks like veins up here, like a murky water, but some clear lily pads. This one, I wasn't really sure what it was. It just kind of looks, it, it, it looks like um, molecules, little amoebas and bacteria up close. Uh, this one, I had to read the caption to find out what it is. This one looks like a painting to me. It almost doesn't look like a real place. This one was kind of funny. It's like playing hide and seek or something. This one was very beautiful. The silhouettes of the deer with a slight light in the a little off center it took a lot of shadows using the light to their advantage like the little quote over here light makes photography embrace light admire it love it and you will know the key to photography which is so true considering that without light most of our images would not be possible This one was an uh, um, interesting quote to me. Can't You cannot depend on your eyes if your imagination is out of focus. So it's like basically, for me, that means that you have to open up your mind to see the possibilities. Which I think goes very well with this image actually because she has her eyes covered so it's like going with the saying, you can't depend on your eyes. This one also looked like a painting to me, um, or pollen. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be light or bugs or pollen, but it looks really cool. Another underwater picture. <laughs> 